Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remote onto a virtual machine. So uh, you can see here I've got my Zubuntu and on Zubuntu I have VirtualBox installed and you can see I've got all these virtual machines. I've got Windows 11 twice. Um, Windows 10 and Windows 11 I've got a uh, guide showing you how to set those up. I've got a guide showing you how to set Ubuntu up and that's my actual Windows 11. So right, what we, we need to do first is we need to go to, so we're going to do it for the Windows 11 demo and we're going to click settings. We go down to display and we're going to click on remote display and we're going to enable server. Uh, you can allow multiple connections, so different, um, more than one PC can connect or you can just leave it like that. Uh, the important thing here is the server port, so 3389. So I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to power on the virtual machine. And whilst that's doing that, I'm going to go and get my Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to plug it in, and that's what I'm going to use to remote on to this virtual machine. Uh, we also need to know the IP address of the host machine. So from the host machine, open a terminal window. And so we need to get the IP address. So we have to do is IP ADDR, and that gives you your IP address. As you can see that scrolled quite quickly. But the number we're looking for is that one there. 192.168.1196. So I'm going to go over to the Raspberry Pi now. So here's the Raspberry Pi. Here's my screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the screen, and I am going to go to desktop and type in the IP address. Sorry if this is a bit jerky. So that's the IP address and then colon and the port number which was 3389 and then I press return and then you can see Windows is running. I can click that, I can enter the pin. So what have we got? We have a Zubuntu machine as a host with a Windows virtual machine set up for remote connections um, and the virtual machines run in Windows 11 and then we have a Raspberry Pi 400 uh, with our desktop as the software so all we have to do is sudo at install our desktop and as you can see we have a fully working Windows virtual machine and uh, that is the end of the video um, it's a short one, uh, but if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.